Austin Jenneru uh, welcoming you to the first annual Bear Spa XC race. Uh, it's going to be held about uh, 8.8 8 miles uh, east of Big Sandy on the coal mine road. Uh, this is a personal ranch that I've owned for about 15 years. Uh, this will of course be the first race we've held here. Uh, put a lot of work into it. We want to welcome you here. Well, we want you to be our guest and have a good weekend. I've been riding dirt bikes for 41 years. Uh, dirt bike crowd is, is my people and, I, and I've been trying to make an area uh, for people to ride uh, for quite a while. Uh, we managed to put on a few good races at the uh, Homain Kuliak Seed. We'd like to expand that to a totally different area up the road further. It's a totally different experience, completely different race, hard technical race. Um, just want you, want you to come out and have a good time, be safe and uh, bring the family and enjoy a good weekend ride. See, we've mowed a pretty good size area. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty flat. Um, I think there's about 11 acres here that we've mowed. Uh, there's also some areas down uh, where there's some trees and some shade. Uh, we're gonna have a few few uh, options for camping, but they're gonna go early. Uh, we're gonna try to keep things watered down. If, if there's a dust situation, there's supposed to be some rain on Saturdays, or I'm sorry, Sunday and Monday. If that's the case, that's great. This race can take a lot of moisture you know, our normal coal mine coulee race, if it gets uh, wet, it's pretty slick with the bentonite. This soil up here absorbs that moisture right away. The road coming in is graveled. Not gonna have any trouble getting campers in or out or anything like that. Um, you know, regardless of what the weather is, come and have some fun. Uh, you can bring dogs, but they definitely need to be tied up. Uh, we don't wanna have them running around during the race, especially, uh, you know, you know e either on the, the uh, camping ground or during race time especially because we don't have dogs running on around the track. Um, I don't mind if people come and ride their mountain bikes or hike or do whatever else uh, as long as it's uh, in a certain specified area that we've got here. Um, basically just come and have fun. Um, the other uh, questions I get asked uh, routinely uh, about concessions. Uh, uh, Rock and Seas is going to be here with concessions again with breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, we're going to be uh, actually uh, in the same area as the uh, Moto Tally booth is uh, on the uh, northeast end of the parking lot. Um, other questions I have of course are about schedule. Uh, basically all the races are going to be on Saturday. That allows everybody to be able to uh, take Sunday and, and ride around here a little bit if they want to or head out early uh, and get home early that day. Other questions I get a little bit more related to the race, uh, you know, what tires to run. I would say in this particular race, you want a good deep lug tire, you know, the, an, an older M5B or even the new M5B Evo would work good. Uh, Michelin Terracross 5 works pretty good in this uh, terrain from what I've found. Haven't had the greatest luck with gummies here just because of the uh, the uh, the dark soil and, and the, the, you know, the, the downfall that you have to co go over. Um, other questions, uh, I guess, are on, on the bikes, uh, you know, personally, you know, I, I ride a 450 and I ride a 252 stroke in this particular race. I get a lot of people that ask, you know, which one would you rather have? I'd rather have my two stroke in this race just because of the tight, uh, the tightness of, of the race and, and all the obstacles that you have in the way. The other thing is with the, with the big thorns that we have, uh, if you can at all, try to bring some bib mooses. Uh, you know, run some extra thick tubes, whatever, but I would definitely prefer the bib moose front and rear uh, because you travel all this way, uh, gas price is high, you're gonna wanna make sure you're on that bike for as long as you can be. Um, you don't wanna have a flat tire and it's guaranteed in this race just about. There's so many obstacles that, that you can hit that are gonna give you a flat. So one of the, uh, I guess, points about this race, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make very clear is to, if you can show up with bib moose, new tires. Tires definitely have to be a deep lug. Um, one of the biggest enemies that we have on tires are these things right here. The Bear's Paw of all the mountains I've ever ridden in have the longest thorns in the state of Montana. And that's one of them right there. Uh, so it's almost as long as my index finger and they're just as sharp as it can get. Uh, tires go quick at this race so please prepare accordingly with the rock uh, formations between Coal Mine Coulee and uh, Bear's Pike Sea is uh, Coal Mine Coulee was a sand rock and the rocks that uh, 
bear's paw or the uh, volcanic rocks are very slick, um, porous, uh, no traction whatsoever on them. Um, I don't think a gummy tire is going to help you very much with it. Uh, the rest of the course uh, of this race is, you know, I don't think the best tire is going to be a deep tread tire, something like a M5B, something with a lot of traction. It's crumble, it breaks, it, it moves, it, you get no traction in it whatsoever. You're just going to have to be very yeah. careful. And when you get this stuff rolling on uh, the harder rock underneath, it's just the other thing is definitely have goggles with as much uh, timber as we've got in brush in this race. Please wear goggles, that's mandatory, otherwise you're going to lose an eye, no question about it. Um, boots, there, there, there's stuff all over. I've, I've seen some guys at Coal Mine Cooley wear cowboy boots, don't do it at this race. Uh, please don't. You're going to have to have some good quality boots. I know that stuff costs money, but you know it's it's going to save you a potential trip to the doctor. Um, just common sense. Bring the right gear to to ride this race. So just like coal mine uh, Cooley race, uh, Bears Park C is going to have great viewing uh, for all the spectators and people with the campers up here. Uh, we're on a point again. We've got everything all mowed and cleaned up. That's the 50s track that you're looking out on. Um, you know, grandparents or any spectators are going to be able to see a lot of what's going on with the racing. We're on, uh, we're on the vintage, uh, uh, the Kids 65, uh, 85 Junior, Senior, and C Class track now. We don't have the flags in yet, but we know where the track is. Uh, I just want to make uh, it be known that this is not going to be a two track road. This is going to be a more technical seed track line. Um, we are going to have some small logs, things like that. Uh, this is going to be single track. It's going to be difficult. I'd say it's going to be the most difficult seed track of the year up to this point. Basically, it's not as hard as A or B track, but it is, is a difficult C track, and it will be a lot of fun. This is what we call the, the chute. It's a volcanic uh, chute uh, in the Bear Spock Sea Race. Uh, zero traction. It's going to be an A and a B line. Extremely difficult. Uh, this is only about half of it that you can see here. You get up top where the trees are, you turn a sharp right sharp left and it's another battle it's a cliff edge when you're coming down so it's definitely going to be a challenging part of this race Riley's a pretty good rider to do what he did in this uh, this stuff is real slick, but even he had to use a lot of body English and after he made the right turn and then the left, you could see where he still had quite a bit of trouble getting up that hill. Uh, as you can see, there's zero traction coming down. If you have to use your brakes at all, you're in trouble. You can't really stop yourself that fast. So be ready. Be ready for these conditions on the A and B side of this race. This is the end of the chute. Uh, after you make the climb, there's a descent down about a 15 foot uh, fairly steep cliff. When you come out of that section, it's going to be very loose uh, for about 30 yards and you need to cut a sharp left. Uh, it's going to be extremely difficult, so be on the brakes. Mm -hmm. Watch out for that. This is what we call Jagged Rock Hill. Uh, I've gotten many bruised shins on this one before. Uh, the rock here is, is pretty fanatical. It, uh, it's really sharp. It's jagged, but large. You've got to try to make it up the hill. Uh, going that direction, it gets harder and harder as you get to the top. When you get to the top, it's solid rock. Uh, there's a, you know, quite an obstacle on the top of it. There will be a checkpoint there at the race. Uh, a and B have to go up this hill, uh, and they have to do descent down the backside. The descent on the backside isn't very fun either. You just got to be really careful. This is a steep hill. It's rugged. 
a lot of big rocks. Probably had to use a lot of technique on it. Uh, had to use a fair amount of speed. Had to be in the right gear. You cannot make a mistake on this stuff. Um, doesn't get any easier. You get to this point, uh, and then when you get to the top, uh, up where the checkpoint is, you can have a fight uh, if the rocks just get to that checkpoint yet. Um, it'll be quite an experience. One parts about Bears Park C is the tight technical racing that we're going to have. We have a few miles of it where it's through the really dense brush in the trees. I love that stuff. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a challenge. Um, you know, we've trimmed it good. We've set it up right. Uh, this is to me this is preeminent XC racing uh, in this kind of an area. So it's uh, going to be a lot of fun. going to be a tight technical race. That's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of trash on the ground, a lot of downed trees, uh, a lot of brush. Um, it's just going to be tight and technical. This will not be a speed race. at Bears Park T is going to be very important because there's a lot of areas like this where if you don't realize that you got to take a sharp right here you're going to end up down in the drink and I don't even want to know how deep that is. So on that pre-ride take your time, learn the track, it's going to help you much better during the race. It's going to be like I said before really tight, really technical. Uh, if you make mistakes it's going to cost you positions. No question about it.